make a new or repair. I don't know if you guys remember this, but a young man brought this thing in not too long ago. And it's just the uh, fake stained glass on glass. I wanted to know if I could fix it. And I took one look at it and said, well, uh, no, I really can't. You know, I think they painted the damn thing in the, the glass in the frame. So I have to take this out. Come on. It's just, what the hell is that? It ain't stained glass, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's get something to clean that out real quick. They actually painted all that stuff on the glass while it was in the frame. They didn't just take it out and do it. So, basically, having to clean all that junk out. Okay. That's basically what they did. Blue stuff. Painted it while it was in the frame. How do you like that? That's that gallery glass garbage. So, I got it clean enough. Just garbage. Just absolute garbage. Look, look at that. Hey, okay. that's the stuff comes in the tube, and you paint it on the glass to make it look like real stained glass. So, this is the one that I made. We got better color light through. Okay. So he picked out the colors, and I made the panel. And then it goes into the wood frame, like it's supposed to. Yeah? Pretty much. So, one of the things that I've often mentioned, about, and I've got teeny tiny tacks, but I've often mentioned about installing leaded glass windows and wood frames, is putting a tack in, okay, and you have to do this everywhere there's a line. You know, when you install a lit of glass window into a window sash or frame, using a carpet tack wherever there's a line, and not out in the middle, I'm doing this against a fence. That's what this is. So I have something to actually press against. And one of the reasons you don't put carpet tack or a nail uh, in the middle is because basically, you know, you've got your bead and you've got your bead so the glass can be deflected and bent and thereby broken, which is what you don't want. Doing when you're doing an installation. At least I don't want to. Maybe some of y'all don't really care, but I do. So, wherever there's a line, this is where it gets attack. And old windows I've worked on, that's what was holding them all in. It was a carpet tack. And you notice. <laughs> I'm using the big fat end of my nail set to get these things going. Really, after I get it set, I can turn it around and use a tiny end to set it even deeper. See? See? So, but that's why I use tacks. And that's why I put them wherever there's a line and not out in the middle of nowhere because I've gotten a lot of repairs over the years 
where somebody put a nail here, they drove it in and it cracked the glass. Drove it in, cracked the glass. Drove it in, cracked the glass. So that's why I put them on the on the line. So now this is what it looks like. Uh, install. I'm going to put a couple more tacks in there, but I normally don't use black patina, but I figured with the black frame, I wanted it to match. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, what do you think? All right. Thank you. God bless. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.